There's a lot at stake in the upcoming census count. The population numbers produced by the survey are used for everything from drawing political districts to distributing government money. And those involved say the Trump administration's proposal to include a citizenship question in the 2020 count poses a real threat to its accuracy. We're not involved in that decision making, of course, so we're moving forward assuming it's on the, on the, the 2020 questionnaire. Our job doesn't change, though. It, on the current surveys we conduct, there is a, a large distrust in government. And we see that every day as we're out there knocking on doors, collecting important information for other federal agencies. Jersey City is widely considered the most diverse in the state, making it all the harder to count. As a head start, a U.S. Census Bureau office will open here by mid-2019. Mayor Steve Fulop is one of dozens signing a U.S. Conference of Mayors letter against the citizenship question, with concern about a repeat from 2010, where he says the town lost out on millions of dollars. 2010, Jersey City and Hudson County in particular had one of the largest undercounts in the entire country. And uh, it's significant because it impacts us in a lot of different ways. It impacts us in our schools, it impacts us with our police, it impacts us with fire, it impacts us with our congressional districts. It is estimated that the state of New, Jer New, state of New Jersey receives over $18 billion of funding every year for the largest 16 programs based upon census data. So we need to get it right. But that'll be tough without community buy-in. So the city will hold six town hall meetings, set up kiosks with community leaders to explain how the survey works, what the census is, and what it's not. We don't ask for Social Security numbers. We don't ask for bank account information. We never ask for money. And we cannot, I can't reiterate enough, Title 13 protects everyone's data. We cannot share it with any other agency, with any other private organization. That might be the biggest takeaway. Contrary to popular belief, the census can't share your information. The agency is also looking to hire managers and clerical workers to run the future offices, and they'll pay 22 bucks an hour. Fulop says the title as the state's largest city is on the line. Newark still holds that one. In 2010, the survey put Jersey City's population just over 247,000. But today, Fulop estimated it to be closer to 305. So Mayor Fulop says the community engagement portion of this will begin immediately. There's a town hall scheduled in Greenville for tomorrow night. The census is already recruiting workers with the count slated for April 1st. In Jersey City, Brianna Venosi, NJTV News.